Well, very, very valid uh, question, which I think uh, many of us associated with the Spanish situation ask ourselves a great deal. The, the future of Spain is built upon the, <coughs> the present fact. The facts are that there has been an economic revolution taking place in Spain over the past decade, are brought about by uh, economic liberalization, uh, which was set in motion in 1959. Spain is, is undergoing a vast changes in its economic structure. Anybody who has come back there after an absence of some time cannot help but be struck by the, the uh, explosive dynamism of the growing middle class, of the benefits of higher standards of living which are reaching into every nook and corner of Spanish society, the fact that, uh, that there is a sense of growing economic well-being in Spain makes for the possibilities of a more secure political future. And I think that uh, it, it less and less depends upon the personality of the leadership uh, involved, so that uh, when the time must come, as it will inevitably, to the present chief of state to move on, why the uh, Spanish society will be able, to, I'm sure, uh, because of its firmer economic base, uh, supply the kind of political leadership that it deserves. Mr. Ambassador, by that, do you mean a trend possibly towards more democratic government in Spain? That, I think, is the inevitable trend. I think we can see that <coughs> within the character of Spanish society today, characterized by some subject near to your heart, and that's the uh, so-called freedom of the press law. This is not total freedom of the press, as, uh, they would be the first to maintain, but it is a step towards uh, greater press freedom. That's a sign that uh, uh, of uh, liberalization of the present institutions. 